Hey everyone, it's Machin here. In my last video, I showcased how NVIDIA's new smooth motion technology works in PUBG on a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Today, we're putting it to the test in a completely different environment, Fortnite. Unlike PUBG, which still runs on Unreal Engine 4.26 from 2021, Fortnite was upgraded to Unreal Engine 5. That means full support for technologies like Nanite, Lumen, virtual shadow maps, temporal super resolution, and even hardware ray tracing. At the time of recording, Epic is already testing Unreal Engine 5.3. To enable smooth motion, make sure you're running the latest NVIDIA Developer Preview Driver version 590.26 along with the new NVIDIA app. It works in games that don't support frame generation and can literally double your frame rate. Fortnite supports NVIDIA DLSS, which helps the performance, but it still lacks native frame generation. Thankfully, this is where Smooth Motion comes in. Unlike traditional FG, Smooth Motion works directly from the driver level, meaning it can inject frames even in titles that weren't designed for it. Visually, Fortnite looks far better than many of its competitors, but the real question is, can I actually play it at 4K resolution, max settings, with ray tracing enabled, on a 13-year-old workstation? <laughs> Before we jump into the performance comparison, a quick word from our sponsor, me. Right now, my YouTube channel isn't monetized, so if you'd like to support it directly, grab one of our official USB hubs at a crazy low price of just £14.95. This offer is only available for UK viewers. Thank you so much for your support, it truly means a lot. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the game running without smooth motion. On the right, it's enabled. Fortnite is a highly dynamic game, which makes it difficult to recreate identical gameplay situations, but I'll try to keep things as consistent as possible. I don't have a dedicated capture card, so what you're seeing is recorded directly using the NVIDIA app at 120 FPS. This slightly impacts performance, reducing results by around 8%. As you can see, latency remains nearly the same, but the frame rate effectively doubles. And personally, the game just felt so much smoother. Let's slow it down to see if motion clarity and fluidity actually improve. So yes, smooth motion really makes a difference, even in a modern title like Fortnite running on UE5. Playing Fortnite at around 100 FPS with smooth motion enabled felt significantly better than struggling at 50 FPS without it. If you've got an RTX 40 series GPU, give it a try with the latest NVIDIA drivers and let me know how it performs for you. But there's a catch. The most popular FPS, Counter-Strike 2, has strong anti-cheat protection and currently doesn't work well with smooth motion. Enabling it might trigger a temporary ban, which can be removed after turning the feature off in the NVIDIA app. I definitely recommend installing the latest NVIDIA GeForce 590.26 preview driver along with the NVIDIA app 114526, links in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more benchmarks and game tech deep dives, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to grab my USB hub. Worldwide shipping is coming soon.